you know, if let's say a country like, let's just call it Singapore or Israel, it's easier to imagine these small countries that are already, you know, pretty high IQ and, and, and wealthy and that sort of thing. And they're already, in the case of Israel, they're, they're subsidizing IVF and genetic testing. So this is just, even if they never subsidize polygenic testing, well, it's going to be pretty cheap for them. It's just an yeah. add-on. So what happens if you, you know, 5% of the 10% of the country uses this and selects for IQ, it maybe boosts, you know, the average IQ of the country by, by three points, or you could talk about reduces the average rate of certain disease by the same amount. It's going to have economic consequences, but, you know, in, in Garrett Jones's story, again, since your podcast is about intelligence, you know, one of the most interesting things he found, which you're well aware of, is not just that on average smarter people tend to be more innovative or make more money. If anything, I, I actually think some people overestimate how big those effects are on an individual level. Um, you, you know, you have a, an accurate view of this, but a lot of people think it's just going to massively blow up your income, yeah. which uh, I think personality and stuff matters a lot, some luck. 